Wow, I wonder what happened here. Good morning, modern steaders. It's kind of foggy out again this morning. 50 degrees out, it's supposed to be 80 again today. Crazy weather. Now this is pretty much a daily occurrence. I'm glad they don't pee on their goat bed. See the grass growing in the new pasture? Looks pretty good. I bet all the moisture from the fog in the mornings the last couple of days has really been helping that grass seed. You never know who's going to be watching you. What kind of caterpillars are these? I've been seeing them all over the place this year white and they got like black furry horns on them almost that's crazy I don't think the pigs like it when I change up the feeding routine they're like what the heck you're supposed to feed us first The chickens have been doing good eating their minerals. We got kelp and we got oyster shells. We need to top off the oyster shells. They're almost out. I'm like, really? You gotta make us wait to the very end to get fed? You girls will survive. Yuck, they got me. There we go. I need to run out to the store this morning. I want to update the, I guess you want to call it plumbing in the outdoor kitchen to make it easier for us to use it and more convenient. So let's go. I actually need the heat on this morning. You gotta love when you can't see out of your side windows. Pretty foggy out still. It's time to get some trees changing colors already. I think we can get that to work. All right, now we need to modify it to make it work for us. I'm gonna make some loud noise for a minute. part we want. Should do it. Alright, I like that better. So right now for water to the outdoor kitchen we have a hose that comes in from the outside and it just hangs here. And it's kind of cumbersome. So I'm gonna have our own hose. I wanna hang it from the ceiling down above the sink. So we got another drinking water hose. 
And then I got a nozzle. I want to have that hanging down below on a pulley system to go up and down and have it when we need it. And we'll have it so you can just disconnect the hose outside. Oh, you have a pink special with me on. Oh, look, we match and we didn't even mean to. First one's always the pain in the butt. I think these bolts are overkill, but that's what we have that fits. I hope no mice come out. Coming at ya. Yeah! Oh, she has a hose. Did you get it? Not sure if this is the right nozzle for the job. So if you guys have any ideas and suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. We like this one because you can turn it on and leave it on. So I need some sort of weight on this hose to raise that up and down. We're gonna go redneck on this. I got some electrical tape bent tractor pin and some steel plates so let's get this figured out okay the height i want is around there so if we get the hose to weight down to here i think we'll be good i just don't know how much weight we're gonna need don't think that's enough. Now, if you look under your kitchen sink, if you have a nozzle that pulls out, you've got something like this. It's just not taped on there like that. So that'll work. What do you think? Chewing. You're chewing? Do you have it on? It is. Yep, yeah, cool. Go use it. Tell me what you Did think. Did you already here. put a weight on it? Yep. Oh, I see it. The weight's on there. Okay, turn this so it's not so short. A lot of the times when we're using this, it's chilly out and we get frost and down below freezing. It's when we're harvesting our animals. So I just want to make sure this hose drains. And it does, which is good. And then this hose, if we needed to, we could bring it in the house, keep it warm, and then bring it out the next day if we're harvesting over two days, like with the pigs. It'll be a two day thing, so if it freezes at night, we can bring the hose in, keep it warm. This one will drain. We don't gotta worry about a frozen hose. That could have hurt. I wouldn't have liked that. I hung another pot up. At least now we can hide the hose up high. Now my question is, do I move that one over a little bit and it'll be spaced nicer? Oh, dilemmas, dilemmas. I'm gonna leave it like that for now and we'll see how it is. All right, guys, I had to move it. It's more even now. Come the chickens. Ooh, they got the dish in the trees. I like it. 
They'll trample it over pretty good there. Oh, I wonder what happened here. Some animal must have tried to run through the fence. We're missing, we're missing a plastic. So what that tells me is that it went up. And that an animal tried running through the fence last night. I'm gonna go shut it off and get it fixed. All right, let's kill the power. I don't feel like getting electrocuted. I could hear this bottom wire grounding out. I'll raise it up a little bit, but yeah. Whoa, something must have ran through that fence. I wonder where the insulator is. If you guys see it, it's yellow. Leave it in the comments down below. Huh. There it is. See it guys? That went flying pretty good. Right in a pile of poop. Yep. Uh. Hmm. Wonder what that was all about. Took some force for that to happen. Oops. Okay, enjoy your afternoon snack. Let's go see if the goats want my apple peels. Some apple peels. Come on. Hey, I put that chair for me. I put that chair out for me. I'm just going to bring a handful because I don't want them to get a belly ache. Can I come in and sit there? Can I sit in the chair? Hello? Hello? Hello girls, let me sit. Can I sit? I want to sit. I want to sit in the chair. Oh, I know, I got you a treat. I know, I got you a treat. Get down, get down. Come on guys, let me sit. All right, here, let's put the treats right there. Here. Right there. See, you didn't like it? You don't want it? Here you go. Oh, an apple cake in the print of an apple. I bet that's gonna be delicious. And we don't have enough to share with you. I know, but how could we share it with them? Huh? How could we share it with them? I don't know, but you don't need to say that. Oh, sorry. But we're gonna enjoy it. Let's clean your water trough. You don't want that.
They're loving the fresh grass. Well, I wish I knew I tried running through the fence here. That's just crazy. I'll have to keep an eye on it, see if we see any animals around, and hopefully the pigs stay in. I think they will. But we're gonna go run up to Gina's family's house. We're gonna have some of that apple cake that Gina made. This is where we're gonna end today's video. Thanks for coming along with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.